the wilds open beta came and i had fun struggling with it plus i am kind of pissed that my live stream on youtube has delayed audio i swear to god the one time it just had to f up it had to be done <laughs> anyways let me break down my thoughts on this beta and the overall feeling this game has got for me so far i spent a good 30 minutes creating my character and i wish i didn't do that because it ate up my time making my character look gorgeous for you character creator enthusiasts you're gonna have a fun time exploring all of these options possibly making thanos or barack obama become a hunter to save the people in this world i really do like the character's hair though it just looks so pretty it makes me happy um <laughs> anyways let's just move on to the gameplay The gameplay is so trash that it makes me want to... Okay, no, I'm only kidding. You can put your weapon away now. For the record, I've only played World and Rise, and jumping between those games wasn't too bad. Both of these games felt pretty similar. While though, I feel like I'm playing a new game again. Most of the moves from the weapons are pretty much the same, like the greatsword and the jewel blades, but it does feel a lot heavier and grounded. Compared to Rise, Rise felt pretty smooth and fluid, whereas Wilds is back with weight. Also, since it's been quite some time since I last played World, Wilds feels a lot more fresh. Now, I struggled with almost every weapon I tried, and that's because I'm dumb. <laughs> Isn't that a shocker? Okay, really? I just didn't look at the new controls that they have for each weapon, so I gotta relearn some of the weapon combos like the hammer's level 3 charge attack has a different input rest in peace level 3 big bang impact gonna have to do it the good old fashioned way which is just mashing the circle button or the b button if you're on xbox or the insect glaze extract move is different to world's moves because the l2 button is defaulted to the focus mode which meant that the devs had to move the button to holding down r2 to fire the kinsect in the direction you want. I believe almost every weapon has something new in it, which obviously fried my brain cells because I somehow don't know how to use all of these weapons, but I can still use them. What mostly caused a dent on my head is the new focus mode. So if you somehow live under a rock and you're not up to date with wilds, allow me to fill you in with how this mode caused my brain to regress into a baby noob. By holding down the L2 button, playing on PS5 by the way, you can aim your attacks to specifically hit at monster body parts. It's kind of useless when the monster is moving everywhere, like say if you're aiming at the monster's front legs. The next thing you'll be slicing is their head after your third attack, because obviously of how aggressive they move. However, when you deal enough damage to a part of the monster's body, a red mark will appear and will glow when you go into focus mode. This mark is called a wound. If you hit that wound with the weapon's focus strike attack, you get to deal massive damage to the monster and it will close up the wound or basically make it disappear. You can leave it alone so that you can deal more damage, but it will close up if you hit it enough. This all sounds simple on paper, but when you're in the middle of combat, all I was mostly thinking about was what kind of attacks I could mix with the normal attacks. Because every attack that you do in focus mode is almost the same, or literally the same. Also for the greatsword users out there, which I'm sure you guys already know, you can aim your true charge slash now. No need to miss your slash because the monster moved behind you. You can just aim, spin around, and slash that SOB with the slash you waited 10 years to wind up. And if you still miss your slash, then uh, we all know that's a skill issue. Ooh, <laughs> completely missed. Looks like I too have a skill issue. While my brain was having a war against itself, I wasn't completely using the focus mode to its fullest potential, which makes fighting muscles harder to deal with because they're not taking enough damage, making the fight longer than it should be. Unless I blame the weapons, because we all know that these weapons we're using, they're the ones that you get at the start of the game. I feel bad for maybe the new players that are jumping into this thinking, 
and they can defeat the monsters when you know we all know the weapon and armor is just not that great although that divine blessing skill comes in clutch quite a lot man but yeah this mix of the normal attacks with focus mode and how focus mode has somewhat destroyed the old combat system and how do i make weapon tutorials with this <laughs> is blowing my mind or i might just be overthinking all of this who knows another thing that screwed me over okay maybe it didn't really screw me over but it was more of a huge surprise to me is that you can perform perfect dodges i don't know if this is dependent on the weapon that you're using but i've done it with the dual blades and the bow and it is so satisfying to perform on top of that you can do perfect guards and perfect clashes which obviously makes me want to risk losing hp all for the sake of getting a cool parry or dodge it gets my blood pumping just nailing that perfect moment to dodge or parry and attack and then i just end up dying either way in terms of combat it is still quite technical i can see how it will definitely make someone completely new to the franchise feel awkward or maybe they'll think that the controls are clunky even though they've introduced a lot of changes to the weapons including the focus mode which is meant to help new players i still think a new person will have a hard time with the controls moving on to our mount i've mixed opinions about this if you played rise the palamute felt very easy to control something about the secret didn't click with me at first because it has weird controls like holding down r2 is used to stop it from moving which is very odd when you're used to most games that stop a mount from moving by just you just leave the controller it's still a good mount though it does the things that a rises palamute can do like being able to ride it and use items and sharp weapons it can also pick you up after getting hit by a monster it just takes a bit of time to get used to but it doesn't feel like rises palamutes and i prefer the palamutes movements better than the secret i know this is just something that i have to get used to over time it's just a time issue all right not a skill issue <laughs> the items have been changed for the default settings the radio menu has been extremely simplified to four options to me though it's more like three options because i don't need the other one the options are weapon sharpening optimal healing recovery optimal status recovery and the sos flare the one i don't need because who needs bots to f defeat these monsters when i can do it myself i actually like how simple this is but i just found out that you can change it to the old version and it feels a lot more customizable compared to the previous version might be just me okay now let me quickly burn through the minor details of wilds that i've come across the health bar going crazy to indicate you're gonna take massive damage and you might die <laughs> It's really useful and it looks cool. Apparently I saw someone complaining about it being distracting, but I don't see any problem with it. Weather effects are amazing. I love how it completely changes the environment's colors and luring a monster to get hit by lightning is so cool. The map is extremely detailed. You can see the topography of the land in this 3D model. You can see how long the monster will be on the map before they remove themselves from existence. And I just love every detail of it is way better than the world map i still feel like using two weapons can be a bit pointless at times however when i felt my dual blades weren't doing anything against this one monster i switched from my greatsword to get massive damage and then switched back so i can do that cool attack of titan move this is much better than having to jump back to the camp just to switch weapons because this time you have your second choice with you and finally grabbing items from afar with the sling hook is a godsend it can grab from pretty far and it's really useful when you're just on the mount making your way towards the monster or anywhere else that's all my current thoughts on this beta i am definitely looking forward to the full launch of the game i will be making all kinds of guides and content surrounding it i also want to hear your thoughts behind it as well are you hyped for the full game how has the beta treated you drop down the comments below Subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you guys later.